Some people are glad that Congress is out of the equation and they just wish the Fed would get out, right, Senator Corker? Yeah, uh, just because uh, viewers may think Congress ought to be doing more, ought to be doing less, or should be acting differently, that doesn't mean that we should just uh, give the Fed the responsibilities to be masters of the universe in this regard. That's an inappropriate... As a matter of fact, it might keep Congress from acting the way that it should. I think the thing that we need to do as a country is address our deficit issue in a responsible way. We've had a group come out. Uh, Alan Simpkins and, and Erskine Bowles have come out with something that, uh, you know, is at least a, a start, a bold move. And to me, that's the thing that we should, that's the signal we need to send to the markets is acting responsibly as it relates to getting our indebtedness under control. We're watching things play out in Europe that are incredibly unhealthy. We have not yet shown that courage. We do have in, in April or May a time when the debt ceiling has to be increased. And I hope by that time, we will have acted responsible, uh, responsibly as it relates to this issue. So I agree that we need to do some things that we haven't been doing, but that doesn't mean if we don't, there ought to be another body out there that acts independently if we don't. That's inappropriate. I think, again, I think you're going to see a narrowing of the mandate in the near future. Really? I think people realize it's inappropriate. I think that's, I think that's what's Before going to happen. Before 2012? <laughs> well, we'll see. I, you know, I know the president is is uh, is a is a big government person. None of these, by the way, are attacks on Bernanke. These are just talking about the responsibility of the Fed. But I hope it happens. If it doesn't happen by 2012, hopefully shortly thereafter. And again, I think you'll see board governors out supporting this very soon.